This is Code.org. I'm currently working on the CS Fundamentals course, and I am doing the lesson for loops with B. I'm on puzzle 13. If your loop is counting down, the increment is subtracted from your counter variable each time, right? And so increment is that last number in the loop, remember. If your loop's counting down, this is the increment. Well, if it's counting up, that's the increment. All right, so the increment subtracted from your counter variable each time. What should you should your increment be to collect 15, then 12, then 3, then 6? I mean, the 9, then 6, then 3. So what are we doing here? 15 minus what equals 12? 12 minus what equals 9? 6 minus what equals 3? We're counting down by 3, okay? So I'm going to set our increment to 3. That's what we're counting by. And if we're going to count down, we know we want to start at 15. We're going to start at 15, and what do we want to get to? Where do we want to stop? 3. Okay, so let's start with those numbers that they gave us. Now, we're kind of doing these stair things, so I need to... Looks like I'm going to start by turning left. Then I'm going to move forward. Then I want to turn right, and then I want to move forward. Let's see if this at least gets us through the stairs. But uh Okay, good. And does it get us all the way to the bottom? Because 15... Yep, it should. If, we're did, if we did this right, it should take us to each flower. Now, what's the next step of this? Well, we obviously should be getting the nectar. So let's use a loop here. And... Since we set this up, what counter is going to be equal to what when we start? 15. Perfect. That's the flower we need when we get to, uh, when we hit the repeat, we're going to need to gather 15 nectars. Okay? All right. So let's reset this. When we start this, counter is going to be equal to 15. It's going to go all the way down to 3, but it starts at 15 and it goes down by 3 each time. So let's step. I'm going to turn left, I'll move forward, I'll turn right, and I move forward. And then we're going to hit our repeat. Counter, like I just said, is equal to 15. So the computer sees this as a repeat 15 times, get nectar. So it's going to get nectar once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? It's just looping through this, and each time it's getting the nectar until we hit 15. Now we go back to the top, 15 count down or count down by three is now 12 so count is now 12 and we're gonna move to the next flower and count should be 12 so we'll get that let's give the whole thing a try ta-da Oh, this stuff is so complicated, but it's going to make life easier when we start building our own program. So awesome. Let's keep going. 